Hey, how you guys doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, I'm just doing like a late recording uh, of some of my trades on Friday. I had uh, two good trades I want to go over with you guys that I think uh, will give you some good, valuable information. Um, again, if you like the videos, please like, subscribe, give me some feedback. Um, but with that, we'll just jump right in. So the first trade I'm going to go on is uh, with CGC. Um, the key with CGC is that uh, it's a pot stock. And so there had been some very strong negative sentiment in the market uh, because if another company in Canada had some falsified, um, they didn't have full approval for their farming. And anyways, it, it was, it's was it been hitting the whole sector pretty hard. So I had some macro perspective on the stock to uh, support my thesis for to take it short. Um, obviously, in the morning, I had been gapping down and selling off. And so uh, I had an idea that in the morning, I was going to short it into VWAP, into any pop it had, I was going to short it. So you see here on the one minute chart, uh, let me go ahead and get my marker out. You see here on the one minute chart, it did its opening push in the one minute, but I didn't take it right away at the first put. I just, I waited, right? And it slowed down and it just started to stall out and it stalled and it stalled. And I took it here for my first short at the end of like the first minute candle. And then as it started to get into the second minute candle, uh, I saw that weakness and it was holding at that VWAP level. So I added more onto my position and I just covered down to the washes. And then that was that. Um, I tried to add more. No, no. Uh, I, yeah, I tried to add more here uh, on this uh, on this uh, pushback higher. I thought I was going to roll over, um, but it didn't want to keep going. I should have waited for it to test VWAP. So I ended up uh, covering all of my, all my position there. Um, so that was a little bit of a mistake uh, adding too early onto my position or just not giving enough wiggle room, I should say. Um, but anyway, so I exit the position there, but I was still watching it because it was still being very weak. And so after this consolidation period, I just this little uh, consolidation, this little bear flag, uh, I added short. I went short again. Right. And just covered down to these washes. And uh, it was just holding a little bit lower. It was just holding a little bit. And then it went up against me and stop it out. I'm being very good about uh, stopping out and uh, just not letting things test me too much or go against me too much because you can always re-enter. And you'll see here again, as it failed that VWAP push, that test of VWAP, I went short again, right? And I just keep doing this, you know, wash, rinse, repeat, um, and just keep making money, right? Uh, depending on your broker, your commissions might hit you, but with interactive brokers, the commissions are pretty minimal. And so with that, with this failure of VWAP again, I went short and then just covered into the big washes, right? And uh, I had even more trades on that. So we're just going to keep scrolling out. So this last trade, I decided to hold longer and, and take smaller nibbles on my covers. And uh, there's not much narration I, I can really do on this just other than what's showing on the chart. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to frame this up best for you. So with this last uh, short I took, I just took smaller nibbles. I mean, these final covers were pretty small compared to my original position, but still, um, I'm a big proponent of always leaving something on just to test, right? To see how low it will really go. And I just kept covering it to these washes. Um, and with this final cover, uh, it was curling back up from this support resistance line I had drawn. So I figured that the move was done. Uh, and you see on the five minute it actually kept going lower. So I did miss some extra moves, but you know, I'm a morning trader. So my morning session was over and I was ready to call it a day. So I took some final covers at this uh, support level. Um, but that was it. It turned out to be a very nice trade on CGC. Um, wish I had had a bigger position here on that final short because it had just shown all morning that was going to be weak. So I should have been fairly confident it was going to keep going lower. But um, no, it was very solid trading on CGC. I'm, I'm very happy with it. The next trade to go over with you guys you might uh, learn something from is uh, SFIX. Let me frame this up for you guys. Uh, I didn't trade it perfectly. I did have some mistakes. And I'll go over that here right here with you in a second. Let me frame this up. Oops, went back an extra day. All right, here we go. Uh, so stitch fix you see here on the daily uh, it had been rolling over and selling off right and I forget the reason why but it had gapped up right and so a gap up into this sell-off with the news I remember reading I don't remember what it was off the top of my head but the news I saw this was it, it wasn't justified it wasn't going to hang up there right so I had a very uh, uh, bearish uh, tilt on it and so um, that's what I did I just kept it watched on my short list. So I just watched in the morning as it was chopping around. Obviously, I was busy with um, CGC, so I wasn't, you know, waiting on SFIX. But I kept glancing over at it, and it just had these pretty nasty one-minute wicks, right? 
But um, finally, uh, you know, this minute wick and then this curling down wick breaking down below view app, it, it was pretty bearish indication to me. So I took a short right there and I just covered into some washes, right? Cover, cover, holding here on this bear flag a little bit. I didn't like the price action that way it was feeling. So I covered there and then I left the last little bit here for a retest of my entry and uh, stopped myself out. This was a stupid trade right here. This one right there. That one was me thinking that maybe I was wrong about uh, my sentiment, right? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this was just a uh, buyer uh, taking profit and then curl back up to to shoot up to to go higher. Um, and so with that, I went I went long on this pullback because I was misreading the price action, thinking it was going to continue higher. Um, but I stopped myself out pretty quickly, realizing I was wrong. And then I just uh, stalked it a little bit longer. And when I saw this rejection of VWAP, this tap and rejection off of VWAP, I knew it was weak and it was going to continue lower. Um, but that was a pretty hard candle wick. It, it barely grinded up to it and then rejected very quickly. So there were sellers there waiting to get out. Um, so it went short. Had to suffer through this little bit of a pullback, but it didn't even go up to VWAP, right? So I was fairly confident holding it. And uh, this one, I, I held fairly well. I held for a good amount of time. It was smaller size. I will admit that. It was not a full size uh, short like I would normally take. Um, so that's something I got to work on, just being more confident in my decision making. But I did cover it uh, fairly well, right? I covered it uh, into the big washes, right? Uh, into the support numbers, half and whole numbers here. I covered some at 29. Um, covered some under this wash as it got close to the support level. Um, and as you can see on the five minute, it just started to stall out and round out. So um, my final cover was fairly good, fairly close. Um, so that's it. Those are the two uh, uh, better trades I took on Friday. The rest were just uh, small scalps for winning and losing. But um, these two trades were my best ones. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. You're able to glean some information from it. And uh, that's it. If you like the video, like, subscribe, give me some comment. And uh, I'll see you guys in the markets on Monday. Later.